That helping hand builds players they were able to make it out to the airport and left for their game in Detroit earlier today. Channel 2's Rob Hackford is at the airport with more. Hey, Rob. Yeah, hey Claudine and Scott, cabin fever certainly played a factor in getting people out to the airport to send off the bills today. There was a smaller crowd than usual, but considering the weather, that wasn't too surprising. We saw crews out at the airport loading the team's gear on uh, the plane around 1.45. Fans started showing up about a half hour later, and the players started boarding just before 4 o'clock. And as you mentioned, they didn't take off until about 5.20, so they should be landing in mere minutes in Detroit or have already touched on the ground. Well, considering all the odds against them with their home turf buried under feet of snow and some of the players even needing help to get out, as you saw, this was something fans did not want to miss. Yeah, I know I've been seeing it all over social media and um, it's been crazy uh, watching. I think it's so cool that we have a good Buffalo community. Buffalo is really, really awesome when it comes to just helping out neighbors, whether it's snow plowing, whether it's uh, shoveling the sidewalks. It's just, I think everybody's out there helping each other. Yeah, we want to get out of the house. We're stuck inside. And we're like, yeah, let's go check them out. I uh, checked on my app uh, that they're leaving uh, at like 3.30. So we figured, come out, check them out, and, and have them see the players, you know. Yeah, I'm hearing from my producer. The Bills did land in Detroit. We do have that confirmed. If you remember back to 2014, though, some of the Bills players needed snowmobiles to come pick them up. No word if that happened this time around during that last November event. Eric Wood actually sharing that memory early today. Certainly one to remember. But unlike here, where the Bills are landing in Detroit right at this moment, there is no snow on the field. Well, at Ford Field because it's a dome, but no snow on the ground in Detroit at this current moment. So certainly a much different scenario for this team landing in Detroit. At the Buffalo International Airport, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. Rob, thank you for that.